Hi everyone, this is Casey at Beauty Life Company. I wanted to make a video today showing you what I'm working on. Um, instead of making this video from the very beginning of the process, I'm just going to show you the very end. Um, I'm now located in Mexico. So it's going to take me a while to set up um, making Blythe dolls again. So while I was here, while I'm waiting to have everything I need to start making dolls, I um, decided to do a reroute on the midi doll that I am working on. So I'm almost done. I only have this little bit left to do. I've done this entire scalp. So I thought I would show you quickly the process that I use to do the reroute. This is the only, this is the second time I've done a reroute um, only. So I'm not an expert, but I can show you um, what I do. So first I buy mohair from a woman that I've known a very long time. I'll put a link to her shop below. Uh, she has sold me this mohair for um, other dolls that I've made and it also works really well for like three roots. So it comes like this on the skin and I like it this way because there's less waste and it keeps it all together in one place. So when I'm ready, I just cut off a small amount that I'm going to use and set aside the rest. So I take this bit and I just pull off very thin pieces. You actually want less mohair than you would think um, for your pieces because if you make the strands too thick, they will be too much in, in the scalp. So you pull it off and then I always have a little cup of water. I dip my fingers and get it wet and then tie a knot. Most of the time you're going to want to tie it twice. You don't want to tie it too many times though. Twice is probably enough because um, you don't want them too much on the inside of the scalp. And because of that, I also cut off the excess. So I'll do this and make a little pile of strings before I um, start to root them into the head. Now, I should have explained, with the scalp, this came off of a midi doll. It had brown hair um, and a brown scalp. I didn't really like the hair, so I was sort of um, not sure what to do with that doll or I didn't feel motivated to work on it, so I decided it was because of her hair. So what I did was I removed all the original factory hair. You just cut it from inside the scalp and pull it out carefully so you don't make any larger holes. And then I painted the scalp pink so that it would match and when you look through the hair, you see pink, not brown. Um, and then I just go ahead and root into the holes that are already there on the factory scalp. Um, to me, it's the easiest way to do it. You can buy scalps for the larger Neoblife dolls. You can poke your own holes, and, and I know that that works well for most people. Um, but I prefer to do it this way because it's already done for you. Um, of course, it means you have to waste the hair that came on your factory scalp, but if it's a situation like this where you don't like the hair, it's not really a big deal. So at this point, um, like I said, I would normally make a little pile of little knotted strands of hair, and then when I have, I don't know, five to 10, I will root them into the head and then start the process over. So you'll need a, a crochet needle, a very small one. I don't know a lot about crochet, so I don't know. Um, let's see, the size says 12 or one, 12 by one millimeter. So it's pretty much the smallest one I could find. I think there was one smaller and I liked it, but one time when I put it in through the hole, 
it actually bent and almost broke. It was, it's that thin. So this one actually seems to work really well. It hasn't bent at all um, and it still does the job. So what you're gonna do is you insert it through one of the holes and then on the other side, you hold your strand. I hold it with the knot between my fingers and pull it tight. And then stick your crochet needle out and grab it and pull it through. You'll have a little loop and I stick my needle through and pull the hair out. I also have a tiny little baby comb where I can comb it out if it gets um, stuck in there and all the hairs won't come out. So then every now and then I wet it down um, and comb it. And so on this side where you have your knots, this is where you want to be careful that your knots are not too large because when you put the head back on the doll, if you've made your knots too large, this won't fit back on the doll. So just keep your knots as small as possible and trim any excess that you have. Um, when I finish the scalp, I usually put some glue in here just for some extra protection to hold it in. Um, and then a lot of people thatch the part line, which I don't normally do until the end because I usually make a mess of it. It doesn't usually stay thatched. And thatching means that you fold the hairs over and that sort of um, hides the scalp. So I'll be doing that at the end because I actually think that I'm going to make this um, hairstyle very messy because I really like that look with mohair. So I don't even know how I'm going to thatch it. I don't think I'm going to thatch it um, very perfectly. I think I'm going to do it sort of messy. So that's basically the process of rerouting a bike doll head. Um, if you have any questions let me know and I hope to have the finished product to show you very soon. Thanks for watching.